my name is Abby Smith slash McGowan, and I like you. My name's Alana Swain, and I like jokes. My name's Gracie Horniker, and I like goats. My name's Hannah Nash, and I like you more than Abby. My name's Jared Palmer. I'm a senior. My name's Ryan Roderick, and I like music. My name's Peyton Wayman, and I really, really, really love food. My name's Drew Ellis. I like puppies. Congratulations being in the top four. Super excited you guys have you on today. My first question for you guys today is, what was your first reaction, and who did you tell first in being a homecoming candidate? Um, well, I tried calling my mom. She didn't answer. Then my grandma, she didn't answer either. And then I called my boyfriend. And he was happy for me. So, yeah. I was super, like, shocked because I didn't expect it at all. And I texted my family group chat, and it took them a long time to reply, but they were really happy. Mm, kind of same as Alana. Uh, I texted my family group chat because they said if I told one of them before the other, then they were all going to be mad at me. So I had to tell them all at the same time, and they were really excited. I was really excited when I found out, and I texted my mom first. It didn't really affect me much. Uh, I didn't text anyone right away, but I eventually told my mom. I'm pretty excited, but pretty much most of the people I know are already at the high school. Like, my dad's a teacher now, and my brother's already in here, and Carson's already in here. So the first person I told was my mom. I was pretty shocked because originally they messed up the announcement. So I was just getting my lunch, and I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> so, I mean, I texted Hannah because I had immediately Snapchatted her before telling her I didn't get it. And then I was like, oh, wait, I did. I wasn't really surprised, not really surprised, but I just didn't care, really. <laughs> um, first person I told was my mom. My second question for you guys today is, will you guys do the homecoming traditional kiss? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I mean, it's tradition, so yes. You betcha. <laughs> yes. The most important question for you guys today, what is the best memory you have with your candidates? My favorite memory is with Alana, and it was probably sophomore year. We were playing volleyball together, and we were both the bench warmers, so, <laughs> and on... Whenever we would sit on the bench, our coach would ha make us have a competition to see who could loud or um, yell the loudest and who could be like the most spirited. And yeah, she never really like followed through with that because I'm pretty sure I won though, but hey, it's okay. <laughs> so it was like super early. Well, one. So and um, a lot of weeks yeah, and me and Grace were just chilling and we saw some drag queen videos on like Facebook or something and we decided to like take some Elmer's glue, glue down our eyebrows and like do the whole thing. Um, I have a picture if you want to see it. It's like right there. It's hanging up in the senior hallway if anyone looks to wants to look closer. So yeah. So there's this one time that me and Hannah stayed the night at a friend's house and we really wanted McDonald's and so we were all we just thought it'd be fun to go out the window. So I get down safely and we're like, Okay, come on Hannah and she gets up there. And like before even thinking about it, she just falls out of the window and she lands in the bush. And she gets up and she has like scrapes on her hand and like a couple bruises, but she ended up being fine. But yeah, she she fell out of a window, so that was fun. Um, okay, my best memory is about Abby. We went to a football game in I think it was sophomore year, and we were on our way back from it, so it was pretty late and it was like pitch black outside. And because I think it was kind of far, but we were on our way home and it was like. We're on one road, and then there was, it started to divide to like two different roads, and um, there was a pole right in front of us, and um, we didn't see it. And Abby saw it right when it was like right in front of us, and we like swerved and we're okay. My best memory is when I was with Drew. Uh, we were in we were in middle school, I think eighth grade, just coming into high school. Um, we were playing wiffle ball, having like a wiffle ball game at the sports complex. And I was playing outfield, and Drew decided to just smack the ball. And so I'm, you know, in this position, and the ball's coming. I trip face first into the chain link fence, and I get knocked out. So, and then we had to call Peyton for backup. So that was my best memory. My best memory is actually probably pretty recent, but 
you know, it's just we're starting out the spree year with our beautiful stunting days. And um, our new member, Abby Smith, is trying out one of our new stunts, back hip set. And so you're not sp supposed to put your legs around, but just like keep them to the side. Well, I don't think anybody ever got the message to Abby. So she gets her legs around and completely like racks Nathan as hard as he can. <laughs> and pretty sure, pretty sure I heard a, like a loud clap. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, my best memory was probably with Alana on mission trip this year. We went to uh, Omaha. And on our free day, we went to the Omaha Zoo, and there was this mission trip worker that Alana thought was super cute, and we actually ended up tracking him down. Jackson Young took a picture with him, and that picture spread around the whole bus, and we just kept roasting Alana for liking this dude. He was cute. Ooh, I got one for you. So in eighth grade, we were playing basketball, and it was the end of the season tournament, and we were playing circle. Us in circle, we don't get along. We were walking out after we lost, and... Jarrett turned to the circle crowd and gave him the double bird. <laughs> he heard Josh Hansen calling his name, and he's like, oh, this is little Nick H Josh Hansen, so it's not that big a deal. And then he sees Daniel Myers coming after him. It wasn't very pleasant after that. So what is your biggest fear coming on the homecoming day? So walking in heels on turf is super hard, and so I'm afraid I'm going to trip and take Drew with me, so yeah. Oh, no, 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 I know what my biggest fear is. Um, that I'm going to have one of my chronic hiccup things. <laughs> and that I'm going to scare the whole entire crowd with like a, you know. Um, I don't really have to worry about the, like, the heel things because I'm going to wear flats. But that doesn't matter because I'm like the most clumsiest person I know. And there could be like the tiniest little pebble and I'd fall over it. So <laughs> if you took Ryan down with you, what would your reaction be? can't take this guy down. Well, I would, no, if I go down, he's coming with me. If he doesn't the first time, I'll grab his foot and pull him down. So it's not, it doesn't make me seem bad. And then like, we're clumsy together, I guess. Okay, so mine's kind of the same as Abby's. So I hope Jared's okay with uh, me just like falling. <laughs> Jared, you'll be so sweaty. It won't even matter anyways. I don't have any fears. It's just, I'm a little like conscious about being sweaty, so. That's my only thing. I'm nervous about being sweaty from just like the like excitement. <laughs> I'm gonna be there like <laughs> I mean I'm kinda worried about the sweat too and like, you know, my green jersey being just a little bit darker than everybody else's. And then just kinda ruining Alana's dress and making her smell. <laughs> Probably just being like soaked with sweat or tripping on like the track with my cleats. Now out of the three of you football players, who is gonna sweat the most? Oh, it depends if I play, Jared. I, play. Oh. I will indeed. No, Drew. I guarantee it. If Peyton Wayman is playing, Peyton Wayman sweats a lot. If it's an easy game and we're up by a lot, I'll tell him to take me out so I don't sweat as much. The last question for you guys is, what is your favorite vine or joke? I love you, and I miss you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Why were all the elephants kicked out of the pool? Because they kept pulling down each other's trunks. But <laughs> I don't get it. Country boy, I love you. <laughs> you know, I've been feeling kind of strange lately, so I went to the doctor and they said I'm lacking vitamin U. Oof. He's single. It's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna tell my mind. <laughs> 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 Her biggest fear. <laughs> All right. What'd the grape say when it got stepped on? Nothing much. It just let out a little wine. Road work ahead. Yeah, I sure hope it does. <laughs> All right. My favorite vine's probably when he says, Hi, welcome to Chili's. That's so calm. I regret that vine. Thank you for watching the homecoming edition of KCAT News. There has been an email sent to you from Miss Woods that has a link in the ballot for voting the homecoming king and homecoming queen. Please make sure that you only vote for one king and one queen and click submit. All the voting must be done by the end of today. And as always, thanks for watching KCAT.